In today's video, we're going back to the pistol diamond offense. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here. And today I've got a video that's probably uh, way too long overdue. Um, and basically at this point, it's uh, part two of the pistol diamond offense. And I did this like on a dry erase board probably three or four years ago. And it was basically kind of a way to get into talking about this offense a little bit. And I've just never really, I never really went forward on YouTube with it. I filmed a bunch of videos and to be honest, like I'm not sure where those videos are at. Um, but I, I wanted to do something to update kind of this series on my channel, uh, because I've not talked about it in a long time and I've gotten questions about, uh, the diamond offense. And when you honestly, when you search pistol diamond, like my video pops up and I feel like I'm just not doing this justice. Um, I love this offense and, I've seen it run, uh, ran it for two years, and probably when I was running it for two years, I wasn't doing it justice at all um, because I feel like what I was doing was so not right <laughs> just with what this offense could be, um, and, I, and I didn't know any better. I was a young football coach back then. I was only in my first and second year um, and really didn't start to understand offenses until about the next year. And I was kind of phasing this out. So I want to kind of go back and go through the formations today. So that's what I wanted to spend time on because I feel like if I've done anything right was I made a formations list and kind of went through and made this a, an easy format, basically an easy offense that you could adapt a bunch of formations to with using few words. Now, whatever you call the formations, like to me, this is home base where you've got three backs in the backfield or four backs with the quarterback and your receivers are split out and you've got your five offensive linemen. Um, I, I consider this offense to be kind of an option offense. I mean, you can run your gap schemes uh, with this. Um, you just got to look at the angles at which, you know, you're trying to get that done. So this is home base for me. And so with this home base is kind of like, well, this is, uh, you know, where where we start. And so where we can go from this, whether we just want to call it diamond, uh, we call it, like, as far as, like, play call it, I mean, we call it pistol diamond, but, like, we could just simply just call it diamond. Um, and then what I did was I added words and tags onto the word diamond to change what the formation looked like. So we call diamond over. Diamond over just brings the X over, okay? And so from diamond base where we're at. And what's crazy is like, another thing is like, I went through and, and I've got all this information in here, like on, you know, alignment. So this is good stuff. So uh, if you want to know more about this offense, you know, you guys are welcome to, uh, I'm not the expert on it. I'll say that, but I love this offense and I like talking about it. So we got, you know, diamond over, which all we're doing is just bringing X over, creating an imbalance, unbalanced formation here. Um, I liked running. I, I liked running jet sweeps with this, um, even like uh, even, you know, splitting the guy out, uh, you know, and, and even just handing the ball to the Z uh, on a jet kind of action, sweep play uh, tight, tight formation. Basically, you get down in the goal line. You know, you got to punch it in, get your tight ends in there, even bring maybe want to bring in some extra big blockers. Uh, you know, for the tight formation. So like we're just adding, you know, if we had all this, we'd have diamond, we have over, we have tight, and that's three formations already. Okay. Uh, diamond slot, which I guess the only thing I would probably change about this, um, you know, just brings the Y to the slot, which, you know, you could change this to where instead of uh, him coming over, like we've done this before. Uh, and, and diamond slot, just basically puts him puts our Z out in the slot. We can do it either way. Um, I may have had a reason for doing it that way because I think, if I remember correctly, I've got that other formation I just drawn up in there. So diamond pro right, 
Uh, you could, we could always just call it diamond. You, you could give, you know, like a, you could just say, you could even just call it diamond tight, right? Uh, you know, just give it something where, you know, your tight end's got to come in, uh, or you have a personnel package for this where you've only got, you know, you've changed, so you're essentially 31 personnel there. Uh, there it is to the left. Like I said, these are just kind of, uh, some different things. I like unbalance in this. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because you can get unbalanced really quick with this. I like the balance aspect of the diamond where, you know, you can start to mess with defenses like this um, and you really just play around with all this kind of stuff. So uh, some different things with pistol kind of just going off of, you know, from this and, and breaking the diamond, so to speak, uh, is, you know, running bunch formations. I love bunch, um, especially when you can uh, throw those receivers out there. Um, I think either way, Something I think I would probably change with with bunch is just you know getting the tight end a nasty split um, and doing something like that, creating more gaps essentially. Get him in the nasty split there, put the F there and the Z to the outside, and you know creating stuff like that's just awesome. You know we'll go ahead and put it in like that. Uh, then the bunch right wide. You obviously you could do this to the left. Um, this was one where uh, we we. I remember installing this in my first year coaching uh, was, was putting the players bunched up uh, and so forth. And so flex, the word flex moved our F out um, and put him kind of in that um, slots, that kind of that slot out of the diamond still. We still call it diamond because, I mean, it's not really a diamond because we don't have three backs in the backfield, but, you know, you could always just call it flex. Uh, where you're splitting it out. I think less words, the better. Um, there's a bunch left, a bunch left wide. Like I said, all kinds of stuff you can do with that. I like bunch formations and so forth. Uh, twins looks like the exact same thing as flex. Like I said, I, I'd have to go back and look at some of this stuff. I don't think I had all these formations. I played around with a lot of this stuff. So there's twins. And then like we start to get in some of the, like the plays and so forth. And so, um, like I said, the formations, I mean, personally, when, when I think of the formation, uh, that I come back to, I think of, of diamond base. Like, it's just like, this is what we called home for a long time. Um, we had the cats at one point, um, you know, to have some big tight ends in there, really tall kids, uh, and be able to block about anybody. I remember that was one of the things that we had. Um, and we could be really physical in a 32 personnel set. Um, and, and that's what I kind of like. Um, it's just, I don't know something about this intrigued me. And what was funny was like, when I first started coaching, I saw our high school team running this or our, the team, the team I was coaching for, they were running this formation, but we were actually shotgun double wing. Um, I'm not sure why we were in this i guess we were just messing around uh in these formations but this stuck with me and probably should have been running shotgun double wing but uh this is what we did so i don't know um it, but it's been good um and i've gotten a lot of questions over the years on this kind of stuff um and i would just like to over the summer here kind of revisit a little bit of this stuff like this isn't stuff that's really current to me um but it's stuff that i enjoy talking about um, I can talk about definitely the mistakes I've made in this offense, um, things that I would have done differently. And that's kind of what I want to get into over the next few videos, but we'll talk about plays and stuff. Um, the only thing I think this offense is lacking, and I think that I'm lacking, a, you know, in the standpoint of learning this is essentially the, the aspect of passing out of this, but you know, how much do you really actually need in a passing game? If you're going to, you know, feature the option. You know, obviously you need some type of play action, waggle type of play. Um, you know, you, you got to have a play action off of what you do. So that's kind of the one thing I would say that I don't do, or I just don't know enough of. So, and you know, you can always, you can always do about anything passing wise, but like I said, I would like to see how it complements with like the option and so forth. Um, because you, because I mean, you can do a lot in this. Um, 
I I don't. It's it's weird. Like it's to me, this is just like you know, it's a type of just like tight spread option type stuff. So it's really intriguing to me. So that's why I enjoy talking about it. I hope that this was helpful in some way. Saw some base formations for you guys here today. Uh, just stuff that I you know had put in, and I've got more information on this kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm going to work over the next uh, few weeks and get more information out to you guys um, and maybe even publish my I've, I've got a playbook or, or maybe necessarily a playbook or a manual to kind of installing this offense and so forth, because I think you can install it at the youth level uh, pretty easily. Um, the only thing about the youth level is like, you know, are you going to be running the option and stuff like that? So there's different things to consider. But all good stuff. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. Um, be sure to check me out on Twitter. Uh, link to Twitter is down in the description below. You can also check out our Instagram page for updates. Uh, we do live streams on the weekends, and we have new videos coming every Tuesday and Thursday all throughout football season uh, and so forth. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this, and we will see you guys next time. I'm Mr. Football, and I'm out of here. Perfect.